Naga Munchetti, 47, and Charlie State, 60, were reprimanded by the London Fire Brigade over the weekend for risking starting a fire in the BBC breakfast studio. The BBC presenters were called out by the Fire and Rescue Service on Twitter. Naga and Charlie were advised to take much more care in the future by the London branch of the emergency services. In a sternly worded tweet, London Fire Brigade included a screenshot of the pair sitting on the red sofa in the BBC studios, where a laptop was placed next to Naga on top of a pile of papers. Another image showed a fire-ravaged sofa and laptop, to demonstrate what can happen when laptops overheat. The caption read, Not the first time we're reminding at breakfast presenters not to have the laptops on the sofa and even worse on top of paper. Using them on a fabric surface or paper can result in a lack of airflow and can cause them to overheat, the London Fire Brigade warned. This story comes after Naga admitted earlier this year that she once had to be rescued by the fire brigade. Back in January, Naga revealed on BBC Radio 5 Live that she had once been saved by the fire brigade after she got trapped in a school. The presenter was discussing stories of people getting stuck in the wake of the news that Cabinet Minister Michael Gove had missed an television interview that morning after getting stuck in a BBC lift. Cheerfully recalling her own experience of getting stuck, Naga detailed her exciting experience of being rescued by the fire brigade. I once was rescued by the fire brigade, she began. It was a rather fantastic experience. I was very young, I was about 19. I was stuck in a school that I should have left by a certain time and didn't, so I got stuck. Then I had to be rescued out the window and down the ladder. It was all very exciting. Naga's tale came after the Secretary of State for leveling up. Housing and communities became trapped in a lift for half an hour in the BBC building that morning. MP Michael missed his BBC interview slot after becoming stuck in a lift at New Broadcasting House. The minister had been scheduled to feature on the Today programme at 8.10am, but did not appear as expected. At that point, the program's presenter Nick Robinson had to explain the somewhat comical situation to viewers. He said, we were hoping to talk to Michael Gove. You might have been hoping to hear from Michael Gove at this time. Had very kindly come into the building, so we didn't have to deal with one of those awkward line failures. Mr. Gove is stuck in the broadcasting house lift. I wish I could say this is a joke, it is not a joke, he continued. It is not very funny for Mr. Gove and a security man, who have both been stuck there for some time. Luckily, Michael became free after half an hour and was able to appear on the program at approximately 8.30 am, with a sheepish Nick offering him the BBC's apologies. BBC Breakfast airs at 6 a.m. today on BBC One.